project budget is an integral part of the project proposal. If your project succeeds, the budget becomes an annex to the grant agreement, setting out the maximum grant amount you may not exceed. However, the budget flexibility principle makes it possible to transfer the budget between budget categories. Before drafting your budget, always check your maximum grant amount and duration in the respective URC work program. If you plan a project with a short duration, remember that the grant amount needs to be shortened pro rata. In addition to the standard grant amount, you may request additional funding in your budget to cover relatively high costs that would exceed the standard grant maximum. URC grants cover up to 100% of the total eligible direct cost of the research, plus a 25% flat rate for indirect costs. Let's have a look at the portal. The budget table in Part A of the project proposal is divided into several budget categories. You will be invited to quantify your indicative direct costs in whole euros and provide a clear explanation of resources. An exception applies to Synergy Grants, where the simplified budget table summarizes detailed budgets of individual principal investigators presented in Part B2 of the project proposal, and Proof of Concept Grants, where the budget table is simplified due to the use of a lump sum. Please always check the current ERC work program, as the ERC intends to extend lump sum funding to other schemes. Personal costs usually consume a significant part of the project budget. In the budget table, personal costs are divided into several subcategories. In the explanatory part, you will be invited to provide details for each subcategory of personal costs. Remember, principal investigators must indicate their time commitment to the project with respect to minimum values and the budgeted amounts must always reflect this time commitment. For other subcategories of personal costs, you can indicate their total budget and the number of person months you plan to use in the project. The amounts budgeted for individual staff categories should reflect the usual remuneration practice of the host institution. Remember that next to the employee's gross salary, Personal costs also include mandatory contributions to health and social insurance paid by the employer. Subcontracting costs include costs of subcontractors, which may deliver a limited part of project task on business conditions. You should explain in the project proposal what work needs to be subcontracted and why. It is not recommended to state a subcontractor's name during the proposal phase. Travel and subsistence costs include all business trips necessary for the project. Budgeted costs may include both trips of team members and external experts. If you need to use a specific equipment in your project, you should include it in your budget. By default, you may only charge depreciation costs of the equipment, which correspond to actual use of the equipment during the project's duration or renting or leasing costs. In exceptional cases, where necessary for the viability of the project, it is possible to charge the full purchase price of the equipment. Consumables typically include fieldwork, animal costs, laboratory equipment or chemicals. As a rule, this budget category does not cover standard office equipment since it is usually covered by the project's indirect costs. Under publications and dissemination costs, do not forget to plan your open access costs, the project web page, or costs related to organizing a conference, seminar, or other project related events. As in most cases, the project budget requested under ARC will exceed 430,000 euros. You should also reserve a budget for a first level audit. The audit costs fall under other additional direct costs and may reach 10,000 euros in the Czech Republic. The list of auditors who declared experience with first-level audit and issuing the certificate on the financial statements is available on the Czech Horizon Europe website. 
You may also budget internally invoiced goods and services provided for the project by the host institution. These are unit costs calculated based on the methodology of the institution. They typically cover self-produced consumables or the use of facilities such as a greenhouse. The indirect costs are calculated automatically in the budget table as 25% of direct costs, excluding subcontracting and internally invoiced goods and services. Therefore, no further explanation is required. Finally, you have to fill in the requested EU contribution, which may be equal to or less than the amount of total eligible costs. Do not underestimate your budget preparation. Unjustified budget may be reduced. Communicate and cooperate closely with the responsible departments and experts at your host institution to ensure the accuracy of your budget. Good communication is a precondition for sound project financial management. Consider all the possible aspects that may inflate your budget, such as salary increases, exchange rate development or inflation, and for those, create a sufficient budget reserve. For more information, visit our Horizon Europe website. You may also contact Czech Legal and Financial NCPs for a final check of your budget.